Hello! In today's video, I want to share a cookbook for those who suffer from inflammation disorders such as acne, the anti-inflammatory diet and action plans. This cookbook combines education, meal planning, and recipes in one book. It's ideal for those who are transitioning to a whole food diet and who want to take charge of healing their ailments naturally. The cookbook is written and arranged by Dorothy Calamaris and Sandy Brunner two women who long suffered from chronic inflammatory issues such as irritable bowel syndrome and Crohn's disease. After many medical tests and doctor's visits, they concluded that their conditions were the result of inflammation and food sensitivities. Once they transformed their diets, their conditions improved and they found their energy and strength again. The purpose behind this book is to help those who suffer from inflammation, food sensitivities, and all the problems associated with it gain a solid understanding of how diet affects overall health and leads to or escalates chronic diseases and illnesses. It's not just a valuable cookbook arming you with a variety of easy meals you can make from scratch, but it's an education tool to build your awareness and confidence in spotting inflammatory foods and avoiding them. This cookbook is divided into three sections. First is education, where they explain what inflammation is and the types of disease and illnesses it can lead to, such as inflammatory bowel disease rheumatoid arthritis, and lupus. This also includes the common symptoms of inflammation so you can evaluate if you have inflammation and need to address it. Then they discuss what I consider the whole food diet, the types of food you should avoid and should include in a healthy anti-inflammatory diet. They're really detailed here, listing categories of food, explaining why they're important or bad, and items that fall under each category. This also includes charts so if you don't know all the natural whole foods you can choose from, they give you a comprehensive list. They mention major food sensitivities and summarize how to follow an anti-inflammatory diet. Then they introduce the action plans, focused on four types, vegan, mediterranean, paleo, and time-saving, which includes the possible benefits and challenges with them. Second are the action plans, where there's a brief explanation of each and four weeks of daily breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snack ideas. Sunday through Saturday. The meals and snacks primarily consist of the recipes included in the book. This also includes essential kitchen equipment to have on hand such as pots, pans, and knives, plus ingredient staples to stock up on to easily put these recipes together. Third is the recipes where they are organized by smoothies and drinks, breakfast snacks, soups and stews, salads and sides, vegetarian dishes, seafood dishes, meat and poultry dishes, desserts, sauces, condiments, and dressings. Each recipe page includes on the side the diet type it favors, such as vegan, paleo, mediterranean, and time-saving, sensitivity alerts, variation, nutrition, substitution, and other tips, and the macronutrients per servant. The book closes with a measurement conversion table and the dirty dozen and clean 15 charts. The major pro with this book is it's detailed and comprehensive. It assumes that the reader is completely new to the whole food diet and nutrition, and that's a good thing. And being this way, there's no confusion on how to eat healthy and establish a whole food anti-inflammation diet. The meal plans are another plus. One of the biggest challenges in establishing a healthy diet is knowing what to eat and finding variety so you don't get bored with your food and resort to the conventional processed ones you're drawn to. Each meal plan contains a month of daily meals that's 28 different meals and snacks to enjoy. And if you're worried about the time you might have to invest to prepare them, they have a time-saving meal plan for those with busy lives. Lastly, I appreciate the focus on food sensitivities and special diets. Even among whole and natural foods, there are individuals who can't consume certain foods for health reasons, such as gluten, nuts, and dairy. So it's nice that they not only have meal plans for special diets, such as vegan, but that the recipes include substitutions for those with specific sensitivities or allergies. So with all the great and wonderful things I've already said about this cookbook, are there any cons? This might be nitpicking on my part, but I wish every recipe had a photo of the end result. Out of the 130 plus recipes in the book, they only have around 35 images for some of them. I prefer seeing how the recipe looks when it's complete because it helps me see if I made it right. So with many of the recipes, you just have to make it and assume the end result is how it's supposed to turn out, which I don't necessarily like. Despite that, I recommend this cookbook, The Anti-Inflammatory Diet and Action Plans, 100%. At around $18, you get far more in your investment. You get concrete knowledge of what a healthy diet and unhealthy diet is and health conditions an unhealthy diet can lead to. You get a list of major whole foods in the fruit, vegetable, 
nuts, seeds, grain, beans, and more categories. And you also get four month long meal plans over 130 recipes that cover all meals, snacks, drinks, and condiments, including helpful advice, tips, and suggestions throughout. It's the ideal book if you want a physical guide to keep you on track. Thank you so much for watching. I hope I led you to a resource that you've been looking for to address your health concerns as it relates to your diet. If you found this video valuable, please like, comment, and share so others looking to establish a whole food and anti-inflammatory diet can discover this cookbook as well. Subscribe for more whole food and nutrition videos, and until next time, take care.